All right, hey, it's Mega here. I'm I'm back, and um, yeah, so I'm just this, some extra additional stuff on the figure, the new figure display room. All right, I bought forty dollars worth of stuff for the new cabinet here. Okay, that was talking in the uh, previous clip, and um, so basically I got new lights for the room. All right, the the, the, there's LED bulbs in here, but they're not very bright. So I bought the brightest ones I can get. These are 1,000 lumen LED lights, and I wanted a, a cooler looking color, right? Not a not as not as yellowish. Okay, so that's why I got these. They were expensive. They're like twelve dollars. The the bulbs in the um, the fan light, light that's in the, in this room are like they're funky ones, man. It uses a I think a E15 bulb or something. All right. So yeah, these were expensive, like twelve bucks each. Each. So that's like twenty-four dollars right there. All right. And then I got a a bulb. I pulled the bulb out of the uh, display cabinet. All right. I think we're just gonna use what's in there. All right. Maybe, maybe I might wind up adding different lights in the future, but we'll we'll rock rock what's in there right now. All right. But we'll go from the incandescent light to an LED. All right. We'll upgrade it. All right. And this one is a 500 lumen bulb. I bought four bulbs for the other one, and I only need three because the the lamp in here only uses three bulbs. And I got two of these, and there's only one of these. So, oh well. <laughs> okay, so that was about forty dollars with uh, these guys. All right. All right. So I bought those. Uh, these are called corner braces. I found this in Lowe's. It was kind of in the section where there's like hin door hinges and stuff for like windows and you know putting knobs on stuff or putting draw. I think this is for putting drawers together or something. But um, yeah, they're just little L brackets. All right. And the funny thing is, they're exactly, <laughs> they're pretty much exactly like the ones that were on the cabinet. All right. Uh, in the display cabinet, it's it's got that kind of bronze looking color. Even the screws are kind of bronze colored. I think these are the exact same ones. All right, it just doesn't have a rubber over it. Uh, my idea is to put like maybe some kind of rubber cap on it, or or I have some silicone tape. We'll just wrap it around like once or something, so so it some it gives it the glass something to grip on. Okay, so these are I think three dollars each, so that's like six dollars. This is enough to do two uh, two shelves, like I mentioned. Okay, that we're gonna try to add two shelves to this, but that'll be for a future video. All right. Um, yeah, so let me go install. I'll show you what it looks like right now. Let me turn the light off on this. Okay, so there's the there's the light right now. It's not very bright at all, right? It's like kind of like yellowish okay. color. All right, let me put the light in this too. Okay, I still have I still yet have to clean this. Oh, it goes straight down. Okay, I was afraid it wasn't gonna fit, but it's gonna stick out a little bit. That's what I'm thinking, but that's okay. And there's that and then there's a switch back here somewhere and then i'll figure out where you can buy one of these guys if you guys are interested in buying a brand new one i don't know if they sell them anymore but so there it is that's how bright it is all right it's pretty bright all right but we want something that's uh, bright and saves electricity right because we're in the modern age <laughs> And they won't use these incandescent bulbs anymore okay so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and change them and then you guys will see what it looks like Okay, so that's the old bulb, and that's the new bulb right there for the display cabinet. I hope it fits. It looks like it's the right base. All right, I think this is the E and E12, or I think it's E17. Uh, I think it was an E17 uh, screw-on base. I think E26 is the uh, the normal size, all right, the regular light bulbs. And I think E12, I think, is this one, all right, the, the really small one, okay. The one that's for the the lamp here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and install this yeah because you can see it's much bigger <laughs> that's what i was talking about it's much bigger so it's gonna wind up sticking out of that a bit all right because the other one fit in there perfectly um, i couldn't find one the exact same size guys so hopefully it works we'll find out okay there it is i told you it would stick out a whole lot <laughs> <laughs> if I could find a smaller one in the future, then yeah, but I, uh, it's okay. We'll see. We'll see how much brighter it is. Oh, so much brighter. There you go. It's way brighter, and it's a bluer light. I like that. Okay. 
that's the difference between uh, this one and that one, all right? So the, the these bulbs are going to start to look like that bulb right there, all right? This is much, much, much brighter. It's It's got to be at least twice as bright as the other one, and it's whiter, so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install these bulbs next. All right, let me take this one out. Nice thing is there are LEDs there. They don't they don't run as hot as the incandescent bulbs. All right, we'll just change all three of these. Okay, I got a bunch of cleaning supplies. I got some pledge and a glass cleaner, and I'm ready to clean this bad boy up. All right, we'll clean up this uh, display cabinet, and we'll um, we'll get some figures in it. And then so there's the new bulb compared to the old bulb. This is an IKEA bulb actually. This is I've already replaced it before, so okay, it's a little bit bigger as well. Alright, I guess the GE stuff, man, just kind of weird. Alright, let's see. Let's just screw this one in and then you guys can compare it to the other ones. Oh, there we go. Oh wow, way brighter. Way brighter, man. Yeah, those IKEA LED bulbs weren't very bright. That's <laughs> what I say, okay? And that's also dimmable. So I my idea was, yeah, you just buy the one that consumes the most power because if you don't want it to eat a lot of power, I can dim it, okay? Oh wow, it dims much faster than the other one though. Well, we're gonna put we're gonna put the other two in, okay? Alright. Okay guys, and there you go. Man, it is way brighter in here and it's way wider. Okay, so here's remember I showed you this earlier. Okay, look at how much brighter it is in here. The camera has has uh, less trouble focusing now because it's so bright in here. Okay, camera don't like it when it's dark. Okay. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna put um, these guys. It looks similar, but it's not quite the same. But it'll it'll do the job. Um, I'm just worried that these screws are too long. I'm gonna have to make sure they're not too they're, they're not so long that they'll stick out the other side when I when I screw them in. Maybe I'll take this one out and I'll I'll compare. Um, I could probably shave them down a little bit if I wanted to use them, but uh, it's it's the right color. It's it's not quite as dark as these ones, but it's okay. It's just going to be underneath the shelf anyway. So, and then we'll find something. I'll put a silicone tape around the the edge. So I think this will do this will do the trick. Cool. Yeah. So we'll use that to add the two shelves. Then I'll have to go to the the glass shop and have them cut me some glass. Okay. But uh, yeah, so that's it for uh, that's that's the first step in uh, getting this guy ready. The next is uh, we're gonna clean it up. Okay, we'll get some pledge in there, polish up the wood. That's the one thing about the detuff. There's not that much wood in it. This one has a lot more wood than a detuff. All right, it's cool that it's got a it's got a mirror and everything too, so you can admire the backside of your figures, guys. All right, we'll we'll get this all cleaned up. We'll clean up the glass. The glass is not too dirty. It's just it's dusty. So I'd imagine some dust still does get in. All right, but this room is not that dusty. I've noticed it's not it's not as dusty as my room. That's what I say because this this room is just like you know nobody goes in here. You know. Okay, uh, actually, um, I will go look and see where you can find where you can buy one of these guys. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, surprise! Uh, I don't recommend buying this cabinet brand new because it's twelve hundred dollars. This is a twelve hundred dollar display case, guys. I got it for thirty dollars on Facebook. I cannot believe this. This is nuts, man. Okay, this is literally it right here. Okay, um, I don't think you can buy them brand new. You have you'll have to buy them used. But there is one that somebody is selling. All right, and it's for local pickup, and it's in Arlington, Texas. And they want twelve hundred dollars for this thing, man. <laughs> All right, but apparently Philip Reinish is a like very, uh, very nice, uh, very fancy display cases. All right, it's called a curio cabinet, is what it's called. Okay, and as you can see, this looks like the one that I have. Well, it's pretty. It pretty much is the same one I have. Okay, it's oh, it's illuminated. Let, let's see. Oh, this one has two bulbs. This is not quite like the one. Okay that I have. Mine only has a single bulb. This one has two bulbs or maybe four. It looks like there's four in the picture, but it's kind of kind of tough to see. But it lit it's literally the same. It has one, two, three, four. This one has four shelves. The one I have has only three, okay? So, but I'm going to add more. Um, but it has the same it has the same um latching mechanism on the top and the bottom. Okay? It's got the same the the, the door handles look the same, okay? And yeah, it's got a mirror in the back and then two glasses on the side. Yeah, this is uh 
This is very similar to the one I have, all right? It's almost, almost exactly the same, all right? That's the closest one I could find. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, guys, <laughs> so this is the Philip uh, Rhine... Rainish? Rainish or Rhinish? Okay, I'm just gonna say Rhinish, guys. If I'm I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it wrong. I think it's like German or something. <laughs> Sounds German. Um, but this is their website, all right, and you can see all these different cabinets they have. Let's see if we can find one that's similar to the one I have. But I from what I'm when I gather the one that the, I have, they don't sell anymore. The one I have is very, very old, okay. Um Yeah, so it looks very similar to these though. They don't even these have these corner ones. I've seen some of those for sale. I don't I don't think a corner one would be very good. Unless you didn't have a whole lot of space to put it, you know. Uh yeah. So let me see if I can find a similar one. Okay guys, sorry, I cannot I don't I, they don't sell it anymore. But I this one looks very similar to the one I have. This one just has like some kind of drawers on the bottom. Okay. I do have LED lights now. So, so yeah, I, I think that mine is like so old that, but I, you can only put an LED bulb in it. Um, there's no price on it though. I think you need to buy it from a retailer. So let's go look this up. All right. Um, it's Somerville 4. Okay. No price. What the hell, dude? Next one. So you have to buy it from a furniture company. Um... Kind of like Ikea, I guess. Call for best price. What the heck, bro? Come on, just give me a price. Price too low to show online. All right, let me see. Let me just go to the shop to the shopping thing. Oh, right here, right here. No, I can't find it. But this one is seven hundred dollars, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, appliance collection. All right, this one is kind of similar. All right, but it's not wood. It's kind of metal looking, and this one is listed for fifteen hundred dollars. All right, guys, the list price is fifteen hundred dollars, and it's like half off, so it's like seven hundred dollars now. Okay, it's a very, very expensive cabinet. I cannot believe I got it for thirty dollars, guys. <laughs> hey, I found one on Facebook Marketplace. All right, uh, I just put Philip Rhinish in, and and there it is. So this is uh, this is that other one that we were looking at earlier. Um, that has the two light bulbs. This one has a sliding door on it. It's kind of that's kind of cool. All right, but it's uh, they want three hundred eighty bucks for it, so and it has four shelves, pretty rad. All right, there's some other stuff here. There's a hundred fifty dollar one in Manteca, kind of far. There's there's one in Fremont, but it's five hundred fifty bucks. That's a china cabinet. Um, there's one in Richmond. Well, that's a nice one. That's a big one. Oh, this is the one where the sides open up. Uh, I my my mom has something like this, so it's pretty nice. Uh, we're using it as like a trophy cabinet. <laughs> this is a nice one too. Look at that. Yeah, so I have to say I I scored, guys. Here's one in Nupomo. Nupomo's not around where I live. It's by the ocean, sort of. Okay. Okay. Yeah, guys. So uh, it seems like uh, that that uh, display cabinet that I have is worth like upwards. Of, it, when it was brand new, it was probably worth like a thousand bucks or something. Okay, guys. You saw that one on eBay it was like twelve hundred dollars. So, so yeah, I, I think I scored here, guys. I got a, I got like a a thousand dollar cabinet for like thirty bucks, guys. What a, what a bargain, all right. And that's what he was asking for, and that's what I gave him. <laughs> right? So, uh, so I'm totally happy with it. It's, it's, it costs way more than the Detoff. Honestly, I would still rather have a Detoff, but this will do nicely. All right. Like I said, it's like the size of like two two Detoffs, pretty much. All right, and it's taller, so I can put more stuff in it. So that's a good thing. All right. So we're gonna get. So the next step is to, uh, well, next step is to clean it, put some figures in it. And then I'm going to have some shelves made up, all right? But uh, well, for now, let's just put some figures in there. <laughs> There's some figures just sitting around that, you know, they want to be displayed. All right. 
so so that so that's the first step guys uh yeah and then we'll we'll keep on uh when uh when, when i get the shelves made i'll make another video okay all right thanks for watching hey big out so that's my new display cabinet all right i've figured out how much it costs we um we we put better lighting in the room all right and better lighting in the display cabinet uh i wish i should probably try to find a smaller bulb that bulb is like way too big it sticks out a lot um yeah if i could find like a more like inset kind of bulb i think it would be better all right i'll, I'll probably i'll try i'll keep my eye on on that um i just got that one at lowe's it i don't know it was like 10 bucks or something so and it's it was way brighter than the bulb that was in there all right and way brighter and it eats up way less power so it's a win-win <laughs> okay and and it's a it's a wider light okay okay so thanks for watching. Um, uh, when when I get the new shelves made, uh, we'll shoot another video. All right, thanks for watching. Here's me out.